Magazine. I'm with Roar Magazine. We have Piggy D here from Zombie. And actually, you know what? A lot of my friends want to know, where did Piggy D come from? Uh, long story. I'll give you the short version. Okay, short version. Um, I was 16 in a punk band in Texas called Spunk. Okay. And everybody was a little older than me, at least 10 years or so. And um, the slogan that we had painted on the kick drum said, Burly Pig Rock. Spunk, Texas, Burly Pig Rock. And I was a burly piglet. Okay. So they would haze me like a fraternity. When I'd fall asleep in the van on like long road trips and stuff, they would like draw stuff on my chest with a Sharpie, give me bad haircuts and that kind of thing. So one day I woke up and it said piglet on my chest. And they just called me that the whole time I was in the van. Every van I've been in, it stuck. That's cool, very cool. All right. Now I know you have a lot of artistic endeavors. Like you, you have co-directed a short film. You also do a lot of graphic design. And I know that... Um, John Five, you have a lot of uh, your album art yeah. for him. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, that's a that's a wide spectrum of different kinds of things that you like to do. Like, what is your number one passion? Oh, music, of course. Yeah. Uh, writing, especially. Check. Writing is what I enjoy check. the most. Um, check. Check. One, two, check. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, but yeah, I just uh, anything creative. Yeah, I probably do too much sometimes. Uh, if I just focused on one, I'd probably be, you know, a little less insane. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of enjoy anything. The creative process in general. I, I totally can get with that. Yeah. Same way, definitely. Now your newest album, Hillbilly Deluxe, too, 2010. Now you've actually helped write. You wrote your. You wrote some of this stuff as well. A little or? bit on this one, yeah, a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Now how was the writing process go? Like. If you can explain that. It's it's strange. Uh, we all got in a room, basically, and we're like, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, let's do that. That sounds cool. Okay. Gotcha. And then Rob will sing over it, and it's a song. Uh, I've never recorded a record like that. Okay. I think it should be done like that more often, but... Um, it was a real band vibe about it. So okay. It's cool. Very naturally. Okay. Turn with Mayhem this year. Yep. We, we absolutely cannot wait to go. Like, you excited for that? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's going to be a hot one. All right. So, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be like summer camp, but with giant robots and fire. Ah, uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Okay, now we got some, like, silly stupid questions, of course. All right, boxers, boxer briefs, or boxer briefs? <laughs> She's usually the interviewer. She had lost her voice, so. Uh, like today briefs, normally nothing. Oh, nice. He goes free balling. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. All right. Can you ask another question? What were the other questions you had? Only because she's the interviewer, so. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Fried okra. Weird. Oh. I know. It's weird. I know. Uh, all right. Huh? Beverage of choice. Beverage of choice. Uh, Slurpees. Slurpees. What flavor? Cherry and Coke mix, actually. Yum, yum. I'm into okay, it. now our magazine is called Roar Magazine. It stands for Real and Wild Rockers, okay? Okay. This is our Roar specialist right here. Her name is Amy. Amy's gonna show, if you don't mind, Amy will show you how we roar. And if you would give us a little roar of your own. Oh boy. <laughs> First, let's see how Amy does it. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I can't beat that. Just even if it's a little Meow. quiet. There you go. <laughs> All right, high five. I'm a pussy. Hey, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Really appreciate it. Question. Yeah. Who's Dave Pino? Yes. Dave? Where our last, Where name, our last name is Pino. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Laura, uh, Laura and Lisa Pino. I don't think I've ever met another Pino that yeah. wasn't with the yeah. original Pinos. Yeah. Yeah. Not that you guys weren't original. <laughs> Uh, Dave Pino is a guitar player from Boston. He okay. played in a band called Waltham. He plays actually plays for Power Man 5000 now, Rob's brother's band. Okay. Um, he's my writing partner. He's like my guru. All right. All right. Yeah. We're from Connecticut, so we may be related. We just don't you know. You might be. Yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. So. You'll have to tell me about some Pino girls. Yeah, I will. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of that. Okay. All right. Very cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to be Thank you, guys. Yeah.